How's it going everybody? Today I want to show you uh, SQL.net, the source code and the actual application itself. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately I haven't been able to get Oracle side to work, uh, but I'll go ahead and show you what I have. So those of you who out there who have Oracle, uh, you can go ahead and add the reference and you can go ahead and get it to work on your end. Uh, let's go ahead and show you though the application real quickly, how it works. All right, so what we have here is you type in your server that you want to connect to, the database, your user ID, and your password. In my case, I believe it's going to be localhost. The database is going to be YouTube. And the password is the default password. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on my save button. This information has been saved. I'll go ahead and go ahead and close this. I'll go ahead and restart it. And as you can see, it saved my information. Now, here's the quick query. The quick query is essentially just a list of queries that you can quickly select from, like pre made statements essentially, uh, that you can run and adjust them to whatever you need. I don't need one, I've already got one in here. So I'll go ahead and use that. Now, I'm using my SQL. You could be using Microsoft's SQL, or you could be using Oracle. Either one doesn't matter, just select between which one you want. Click on Go. It'll run your query. Here's your re results for your query. This also does support running multiple queries. Uh, it selects every bit of functionality just like you would with uh, any other regular SQL tool essentially uh, and if you were running a different database like let's say you're running a Microsoft SQL database and you wanted to switch from MySQL like you ran one on your MySQL and now you have to run one on your SQL or Microsoft SQL simply just go up here and change your server address same, change your database username login and there you go Alright, so let's see how this actually works. So we can close that out and we'll go ahead and load up. So what we've done here though uh, is we've imported our MySQL and our SQL. I don't have Oracle as I said so we need to add that reference uh, and that's just because I can't find it. So what I've done here is as you can see I made myself a note letting me know I'm missing that reference still. However, I went ahead and built uh, the uh, variables for it, even though these variables are not right. Uh, I would change those over to an Oracle um, if I had it, the reference installed, but I don't. Alright, so our load. Alright, so by default, my SQL is going to be the one that's going to be checked on load. And then here's your load settings. Which are these very value the sorry values up here? It just simply saves them to the actual executable itself, so it stays encrypted. Uh, so you're good to go on that end. Now here's your type. Now, as I said before, we have MySQL, SQL, and Oracle. Unfortunately, Oracle is not supported. So if you try to select Oracle, it's going to give you this message. Otherwise, you can set you know, your radio buttons to true to whatever one you wanted to run. Pretty self-explanatory right here. Quick query. Quick query is simply just using a select statement uh, and a combo box. Or a select case, I'm sorry. A select case for a combo box. Uh, these are just the pre-mades. And these are just like common statements or common queries that you would run in SQL or MySQL. You know, obviously you have to adjust to fit your needs. Let's go ahead and go into the buttons. I think this needs to be adjusted as well, but we'll go ahead and go. Clear obviously just clears this text box or your query. 
will your query will you write your query uh, and then go go build your connection which takes this information to build the connection and then it checks to see what you're running are you running SQL are you running MySQL or are you running Oracle or something else and then build the connection and then actually run the query in our case the first thing that we come up here is run query so in our case though we're running MySQL so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the MySQL one so it sets up your MySQL connection or the server connection build your query out of your text out of the rich text box query box here the command opens your connection executes the query binds that data or that information to your grid view closes your data reader and then closes your connection if it fails because we're using a try catch it'll send this message now as you can see I have the little note here for to do you know of course Oracle we need to add Oracle now your SQL and your MySQL these are virtually gonna run exactly the same um, on how I built these instead of using MySQL though you're using SQL and Oracle would be the same as well on how you're you know building your connection or running your query so save connection what this is doing is it's simply just going to try to grab this information and save it to your my settings and these are the variables for your my settings if you don't have my settings it's probably because you're using express I'm using ultimate uh, Visual Studio ultimate so I have all the bells and whistles you may or may not have that if you don't have that you can use your storage method as to where where I'm using mine on my load here to load those values this way you can simply save uh, your storage right here which is why I built this you can simply save this to like a text a text document or something like that and then on load you can load that text document and those values um, into your boxes that way alright and then finally we have our mouse events I'm only going to show you the go because this is pretty basic stuff right here if you don't know how to do a mouse event there's probably an issue um, anyway so what we have here is we have our button and our label alright so all it's doing here is simply it's doing a simple mouse enter mouse leave two events when your pointer enters the image or the picture box it's going to change the background image to this new image right there it's also going to change that label the color the four color of it to green now green means go obviously so when you highlight over it it's supposed to turn your label to green I went with the color red for clearing because red you know make sure you want to clear that you know delete and whatnot and save I went with blue uh, no idea if blue is actually associated with save but it just sounded good so and one more time we'll go ahead and run this so you can see the, the interaction with the buttons alright so this is sql.net it was obviously made with visual basic.net 2010 Please post your comments about the software and the source code. Let me know if you found it to be useful. Uh, let me know if you find the references for Oracle as well. Uh, that would be fantastic if you guys want to post a link.
so I can get that in here as well and if I can get that link um, I will go ahead and remake this video and I'll re-release the source code uh, with the Oracle reference in, in there. Otherwise uh, just feel free to post your comments. Alright thanks everybody.